Ah, feel good. Feel very happy to be here, make part of it, you know, make make the GP and have a lot of great athletes here. We're also gonna compete, but uh, so I'm here and then uh, you guys can expect anything because uh, I go 100% in all my fights. Later on here, Big Shark is gonna on fire, be on fire. Fans, fans, it is time to jump into our first bracket of the evening. The winner of this bracket will be crowned champion. So let's bring out our 145 pound bracket. Out of the blue corner, training out of San Diego, California, representing 10th Planet San Diego, Keith Krikorian. Krikorian makes his return to who's number one had a win over Gabriel Souza quite some time ago. Been looking forward to this young man to make his return. Yeah, he's very, very well-rounded. Always been very impressed uh, by his performances. So, um, and he's got a he's got a really big task ahead of him right here. So it's going to be interesting to see how he can combine all of his skill sets and and make and make good on someone that's uh, the, the reigning ADCC champion. Well, he's got the Star Wars anthem in the that's background, it, so he's going to get motivation <laughs> to take on the baby shark, now known as the Megalodon, who's going to come out to the ring right now. Out of the red corner, training out of Jun Giai, Sao Paulo, Brazil, representing Escola, Melky Galval, Diogo Hayes. Diogo Hayes, fighting out of Sao Paulo, originally from Manaus, Amazonas, Brazil, representing Team Melky Galvão Jiu-Jitsu, makes his return to who's number one, current ADCC champion, Sean. Yeah, just a very, very impressive young man. So we'll see how his skill sets work with the rule set here. All right, let's take a look at our tale of the tape. Keith Gregorian, 25 years old, five foot eight, weighed in at 144.6 pounds. Diogo Hayes, 21 years old, five foot five, weighed in the same 144.6, ranked number one in the flow graphic rankings, as he is the current ADCC champ. I mean, mix with Figueiro A, Red Alight, you know, uh, Gil Cabo. I have to do all the process again because uh, each fight is, is a different, so I should prepare now myself for, for the final because it will be great. Then I'm here, I enjoy the moment, and enjoy the process that I'm doing slowly until the, my next fight. It's going to be a rematch for ADCC, you and Gabriel in the final tonight. Uh, what do you expect from him? Ah, it will be a war. It's the truth because 
Once I was a kid, a juvenile, and he was a brown belt, he beat me, and then I could pay back in the ADCC finals. But in the CC finals, uh, you know, it's really different because we are adult, we, we, oh, we are adult, we are black belt, so we are professional now. And then have a rematch against him it would be great for our career because uh, I know, I really know he wants to pay back. But I'm here, uh, better, better than ADCC, so I can't wait to, to have this rematch again. Um, finally, it's gonna happen. Everybody has been waiting a year for that, and it's happy gonna happen. Uh, it's finally gonna happen tonight. I'm ready. You all saw like how well rounded I am comparing to ADC. I'm a totally different athlete in all different aspects. I got better, he got better. So it's gonna be great. I can't wait to see how it's gonna play out, but I'm very confident uh, I can take him down. And yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the next match is for the 145 pound championship. Out of the blue corner, training in White Plains, New York, representing Essential Jiu-Jitsu, Gabriel Souza. Gabriel Souza makes his return to the Who's Number One mat. Beautiful knee bar over Keith Krikorian in the opening rounds of this bracket. He's coming into a rematch with Diogo Hayes. Yeah, he looked very, yeah. very sharp on the first match. Very ready. And out of the red corner, training out of Junjai, Sao Paulo, Brazil, representing Escola Melky Galvo, Diogo Hayes. Diogo Hayes from Team Melky Galvao Jiu-Jitsu, originally from Manaus, Brazil. Now in Sao Paulo, makes his way to the 145 pound finals here at who's number one. Tail of the tape, featherweight battle. Gabriel Souza, 26 years old, 5'5", 144.2 pounds. Diogo Hayes, 21 years old, 5'5", 144.6 pounds. This is the number one versus the number two ranked grapplers in the world. Yeah, this is gonna be a really interesting match, right? You know. Nice little double Kawuchi to up to the where we're here right now. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Had that body lock, trying to get behind. Gabriel Souza. It's a good strategy, as you said. You know, like just strict tactics. The beautiful tactics around the back, right away. You mentioned it. His grappling sort of experience. That was just a beautiful tactical display of a guard pulled the double Gucci and then right up on the wrestle up and now he's on the back here, threatening the back. <laughs> Gabriel Souza cartwheels out of that. Yeah, he changed things together so well. And, yeah. And he keeps consistent, steady pressure in that. Yeah, and you know, both Diego, Diogo and Gabriel, they're 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 just so uh, the way they change passing attempts, passing directions, left, right, up, down, you know, angles. It's just so fluid. There's no stopping. And as, he say, as I say that, they went into 145 entanglements. Yeah, that's right. Now he's, uh, he's really trying to get on that leg. He could just pull on the other leg and slide underneath. There you go. Slide that right leg all the way up and over. Very nice on that short hook situation, but. Yoga, yeah, he went right into a knee bar there. This is the knee bar that we, yeah. you know, he was able to submit Ash Williams with. It's Yogo using that opportunity to get on top. Oh. I, I really like how much Gabriel is opening up. Yeah. And just in general, both matches so far, um, just doing a great job. 
some of the other events, they'll you know, put a big emphasis on submission attempts. So you see people get positionally dominated in the last 20 seconds, go for an ankle lock. And that's not what we want to see here. Diogo Hayes continuing to attack Gabriel Souza now, trying to push him away with those legs. Yeah. Nice little arm attack there, trying to invert. Stacked up there pretty well. So Diogo now putting together some really nice yeah. passing, getting sliding by the knees, getting the drags. Gets the back now. Yep, around to the back side. Just bring his head up and to the front. He's gonna chase the back if he does there. He's gonna go to the back of the turtle. Stop! You can actually take them backwards really easy. And, and then all the sort of the things that happen with that, you can use forward style takedowns to create reactions. So that was a roll out by yeah. Gabriel. And you can right. see. Same position now. Yeah, and you can see how, wow, now he got in deep in the leg. Let's see if he can use this. But Diogo does a really nice job on that roll through just to let the legs go and guide the legs by and almost did a guard pass. Did that on his first match as well. chest now you see when the shoulder line gets past that 90 degree line it becomes now he's got it now he's got the shoulder line fly you see it, it looks like he's causing some frustration on gabriel here. oh yeah gabriel is like it's like he kind of went out for a buggy choke let it go then he rolled out and he's kind of giving up that head and arm there and diago's look at look at that look yeah. at the footwork there that's beautiful is that underhook he transferred over to the other side turned it into a far side underhook you gotta watch this punch out now yeah hey, diago he's tangling those arms he's searching for the arm you saw it earlier on twice in his first match but now looking for the back gabriel almost spins out diago trying to mount gabriel back on top my gosh the pace of these two Those last several exchanges were definitely in Diogo's favor, so. Really nice passing, near back takes. Give him with a nice little slide by. Trying to get to the back now. Diogo throws him over. Has the arm, it almost look. Oh, and Gabriel with the arm attendant, the floor trap, had the arm bar there for a sec. Yeah. Very close. Really? So the, the judges are favoring Diogo, but that last exchange happened right at the time where they made their decision. I wonder how they're yeah. really thinking about this right now. That was tight. That was. If I'm not mistaken, that was probably one of the closest submissions yeah. of the match. Stay sticky enough here. I like that right underhook. He's got to keep Yogo from turning. That, that's what that hand clasp was trying to do. Let's see if he just loops his leg over to the mount, too. Yogo back on top. Yeah, beautiful recovery. Four minutes left. Diogo with his 
hands clasp. Got that rear, uh, the near side underhook on the right. <laughs> His head position was a little off, so came real clear him out. Three minutes left. You know, uh, I will say this in both the 170 and the 145 pound bracket, all of the matches have been amazing. Even the athletes that lost really put their ass on the line here. Oh, yeah. And we definitely want that type of attitude and that kind of performance here at number one. So it doesn't matter who wins or loses this match. I'm really looking forward to having both men back here at who's number one. And in the night of champions, you know, let's see who becomes our first champion of these four man brackets that we put together. We did the Who's Number One Championship a couple years ago, decided to kind of go with the four-man. It was a grueling long format we did back in the day. And that was initially to crown our first ever uh, real champions of Who's Number One. And, you know, we had some divisions that didn't have any belted champs and we're trying to, you know, fill all of those divisions as we progress throughout the year. We have a bunch of Who's Number One announcements to make coming up with our next event real soon and then our schedule will be announced for the new year and, and don't forget guys a ton of other amazing grappling shows on flow grappling we got the adcc trials coming up you know quintet who's number one ibjgf bj stars just so many amazing events and then of course the big capital scenario Underhook by does Kip Souza. Oh, beautiful flight triangle attempt there off the takedown, but just slipped right out. Yeah, I think Diogo saw it coming, he dipped his head down. Fifty seconds left, and we will announce our first 145-pound champion here of who's number one on the celebration of Helio Gracie's birthday. It's respect to the legend, right. Grand Mastery Helio. What a championship it has been! What an event this has been. Once again, for you guys watching at homes, if you're having a who's number one watch party. Snap a pic, put it on your Instagram, add who's number one champs, hashtag in the description. Let's take a look and see who the audience is here. In this finals match, Diago Hayes feels like he is about 20 seconds left to becoming the first ever champion of the 145 pound class here at who's number one. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll try to switch, try the Kimura now. Rolls out. We talk about the experience. We talk about the maturity. We talk about the Matt IQ yeah. of Diago Hayes and Gabriel Souza, both exceptional grapplers. And your winner, by unanimous decision, and new. Who's number one, 145 pound champion out of the red corner, Diogo Hey.